Biker Dads brought to you by Garza Law, Thunder Roads Magazine of Tennessee and Kentucky, and the National Academy of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. Welcome to this episode of the Biker Dad TV Show. My name is Chris Best, and I left my 25-year corporate career to ride motorcycles and tell stories. That adventure brings me here to Mobile, Alabama for motorcycle mayhem during Mardi Gras. This is Joe Kane Day, and you probably don't know what that means, but Joe Kane is the guy who brought Mardi Gras back to America after the Civil War, and these bikers and everybody else here is celebrating his life with parading, partying, and motorcycles. Joe King Day gets weird, wild, and loud, as you can see why thousands of motorcyclists show up here. They parade around the city and then park here for the parties and the parade. So it's time to roll. Let the good times roll. My name's Alex Williams with Abbas Ryan. I'm the current sitting potentate, which is the president of the organization. We've been doing this ride for, I'm gonna say 20 years. The, uh, it started off with just uh, strictly motor core. Now it's back to the motor core. It's to help our general fund out. Unfortunately, it's a wet day, but it'll be a good ride. We have uh, about 20, motorcycle officers that will escort the ride and probably 20 to 30 squad cars along the way to downtown Mobile. This year, next year, we're going to continue to do it, rain or shine. Michael Shorey, uh, low 12, panhandle chapter out of Pensacola, Florida. Rain, shine, just a destination on the motorcycle, don't matter. Coming here to do the Joe Kane day ride. Well, Joe Kane Day, as far as I was told, is what started Mardi Gras way back in the day. Um, everybody talks about Fat Tuesday, that's in a couple days, but today is the day that everything started. So, here to share our support for our brothers over here in Mobile. Joe Kane is the founder of Mardi Gras in Mobile. Mobile was the home place of Mardi Gras for years and years. It grew into Louisiana, New Orleans area, and now Mississippi. Uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama, all around the Lion areas, Mardi Gras has spread out. But Mobile is the founder of Mardi Gras by Joe Kane. It's going to be good and a little damp. Father, we thank you for this day, and we know that all good things come from above. And we thank you, Father, for the good work of the Shriners and how they bless the children. see this and you haven't supported us, please come out in the near future and support us so we can continue on. Well, this is uh, Boston Butts. We got 200 pounds uh, pork butt on the, on the smoker here. So far, we've only got six and a half hours on this meat. Um, some of the smaller butts are already done. So what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and getting those out. I'm shredding your meat. This is what you call pork pork. It ends up like this, but you gotta you gotta shred your meat properly in order to get it what we want on go on the sandwiches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, taste this here in just a minute. If we need to add a little bit more flavor to it, we can add a little bit more flavor. And then uh, we're gonna pan it up so we get ready for tomorrow so we can feed our police officers here in downtown Mobile. So today's uh, Joe Kane Day here in Mobile. Uh, it's a home of Mardi Gras. 
Um, and every year what uh, I do is I get uh, different restaurants and bars together and uh, we feed our police officers, uh, Mobile's finest, along with uh, our county sheriffs and uh, first responders, i.e. Uh, you know, our, our paramedics and fire, firefighters too. Right. Our volunteers are mainly bikers. Uh, you know, I'm a member of the Hog Chapter here locally in Mobile. So a few years ago when I started this, about six, seven years ago, um, I reached out to them for the help. Uh, volunteers so that we can uh, plate the food up and get it out to our police officers. Um, you know, our volunteers are our motorcycle groups. They uh, respect the law um, and they uh, appreciate what they do, especially on Mardi Gras when they're all overworked. Uh, it's just tired, so it's a good way to give back to our police officers. I'm uh, Chris Ross, Mobile Hog Chapter. We have quite a few of our members here helping out. We love it. We just love helping give back to the community. We love our police officers, our first responders. It's just something we enjoy doing. We've done it several years now. And I hope to continue. It, it is mostly about partying, but we have police officers standing out on the corners. And a lot of those guys cannot leave their post all day. Well, they get hungry like everybody else. So this is just a way of helping them out, help, helping take care of the issues that's out there. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you, Thank you much. A lot, of, a lot of times, officers, we have to stay at our corner all day long. Uh, we don't get a, uh, an opportunity because where we're at, either we don't have a location that's close by where we can grab something real quick, but just being able to have somebody do that for us, uh, uh, it is great that we can have something to at least eat because we're working all day and just don't have that time or availability to go and get the food. A lot of us will work our regular shift from 8 to 5 and during the week Mardi Gras starts from 5 till just whenever we can get off, usually around 10 o'clock at night or later. Uh, so we're here all day long. Uh, in the last uh, week, uh, we're here from, maybe some of us are here from 6 in the morning till maybe 10 at night. Uh, and it's just every day. Uh, so it extremely, it wears on you. This is actually wonderful that uh, the, the community, this organization comes together to support the police department so they can stay out there to do a good job. Hey, what's up guys? I'm uh, Joker, uh, Specter's LEMC. Uh, down here today, we're gonna feed uh, 455 officers and first responders. Inspectors, we are a law enforcement motorcycle club. Um, it's uh, first responders, uh, police, uh, military, and a select few of uh, like-minded or civilian. We have a good relationship with a lot of the bikers around here. Uh, and, and, and just like police officers, sometimes bikers get a bad rap. Uh, but that's that's not the case here in the real. Bikers are more giving than people will ever realize. They do more charity work. They do more uh, events to help people. And it's, it's just something bikers love to give back. We're pretty much all for the community, really. I mean, we volunteer, we do charities, we donate, you know. It takes all of us in the community, not just them or us. Every year we do this and, um, you know, I'm just, I'm proud of the people that put this together and that help help make this happen. Uh, all the restaurants downtown uh, that I reached out to, there no questions asked. They gave me the product that I needed, uh, more, probably more than what I need, but the main thing is, you know, feeding our police officers. And it means something to me and I hopefully it'll mean something to uh, these other folks too. This is Biker Day. If you love your bike but hate swamp ass, Breezy Rider is for you. For 27 years, I've been designing medical seating to protect the skin of people confined to wheelchairs. Now, after so many friends asking for help with their motorcycle seats, I've designed Breezy Rider. Breezy Rider actually enhances the look of your bike with its custom fit design, while the patented Phil Air Foam reduces vibrations that cause fatigue and pain. And you can actually feel air flowing underneath you, keeping you cool and dry. You know, you can't talk about motorcycles in East Tennessee without talking about biker rags on South Clinton Highway. My friend April Violet said I just had to meet Jeff and Pam. 
They've been gearing up riders and supporting the motorcycle community since Nirvana was number one on the charts. Come check out Biker Rags for gear, apparel, and the beautiful vintage bikes in the basement. You can even touch them. Check out their free swap meet too. Schedule at bikerrags.com. And he is just a genuine guy. Marcos has been very generous. He has a genuine concern for people. You need somebody that cares about you. And that's what Marcos is, and that's pretty much what this firm is. The Garza Law Firm. Let us help. Your support is what makes Biker Dad TV possible, and the best way you can support us is just go punch the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Just search for TV Biker Dad, look for the logo, and hit subscribe. Hit that little bell in the corner too so it dings whenever we post a new video. We're posting new episodes every week, but there's all kinds of extra video that goes on the Biker Dad YouTube channel as well. Again, just search TV Biker Dad. I had a flat tire. Well, the local authorities proceeded to ask me some questions that led to my arrest. I was exonerated. I would contribute that to Mr. Garza and his staff's efforts in seeing this through. The Garza Law Firm, let us help. Our Back on Two segment is brought to you by Garza Law and the National Academy of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. June uh, 7, 2008, I'm riding home from work. There was a deer that came came across the road, you know, how they do, ambush. And I hit it square, and I laid up for seven months. I almost lost my right leg. I got all kind of metal in here. But through the miracle of medicine, I'm still walking. And I rode in this ride with the Shriners seven months later. But I don't ride at night anymore. Don't ride at night where the wildlife abounds. Some are terrorized and will never ride again. And, and those that are truly in the spirit of riding don't even question that accident. They are looking for the next bike. My, my buddy just took out a uh, passenger door on a F-150 Ford Said it took him three or four weeks for the swelling to go down, but no problem, the bike's fixed. He's up and riding. And plus he got a good lawyer. That's key. <laughs> Get a good lawyer. This is Biker Dad. I'm on the road today in Sarah Land, Alabama on an important mission with a group called the Patriot Guard Riders. If you're watching the show, you probably know who they are, but we are honoring a brother who went down, plowed down by a reckless driver. And that's just one of the missions that this group does every week here in lower Alabama, but all across the country. This is a bigger, louder event than most. Usually it's five or six bikers on a Tuesday morning or a Thursday afternoon. But today we had hundreds of people show up for our fallen brother. And again, this is something that we do all the time. We're gonna go in and do a final salute right after the bowler makers. Hi, my name is Ed Juju Lassard. I'm a ride captain for Southwest Alabama Patriot Guard Riders here in South Alabama. Patriot Guard Riders, our main mission is to stand for those that stood for us. In other words, we escort veteran funerals, we stand flag lines uh, at veteran events, at funerals, uh, and even uh, law enforcement. Patriot Guard started back in 2005 in uh, Kansas. There's a group called the Westboro Baptist Church, and they would come to funerals and hold up signs and yell nasty stuff. And uh, uh, the bikers up in that area figured that they needed to protect the family somehow. So they started the Patriot Guard Riders and uh, they stand between protesters and the family during funerals and uh, protect them, uh, cut them off, and just to, just to honor and make sure that the veteran that passes away gets his honors. Inside the church, they gotta do their service. I got involved about nine years ago, it was 2012, I had just retired. 
I needed something to, to do. And uh, I ran across a Patriot Guard director that saw me get off a motorcycle one day. And he came over and said, hey, have you ever heard of the Patriot Guard Riders? And I said, yeah, I've heard of them, but I, I don't ex know exactly what they do. So uh, he invited me to a Patriot Guard mission, a funeral. And uh, I tell you what, ever since that first one, I've been hooked. Very easy to be a member. Uh, you don't even have to be a veteran. Uh, you don't even have to ride a motorcycle. What you need is to have uh, love and honor and respect for our veterans and to be able to come out and, and, and show that. Go to patriotguard.org is the national site. Sign up and then uh, uh, with your email and then when you uh, you'll sign up for your state in this case Alabama and then you'll start receiving mission statements and the mission statements have a staging area and a time and we're all volunteers so if you can make a mission come uh, meet us and if you can't come the next time whether you're an American Legion rider whether you're a combat veteran motorcycle association rider whether you're a punisher whether you're a southern cruiser it doesn't matter what group you ride with. If, if you come to a mission and help us out, you're part of the Patriot Guard Riders. Today uh, is a big mission because it's one of our own. Uh, Wes Chingo Miller died on his motorcycle. And like we all say, we, you know, if we're, if we're gonna pass on, if I'm on my motorcycle and I pass, that's probably a, a good day, if it has to happen. Uh, but. Chingo, as we called him, he was an American Legion Post 76 rider and director of that American Legion. He was a combat veteran motorcycle association rider, uh, and he would help out with uh, the Patriot Guard every once in a while. So it's, it's kind of a big honor when we have to bury uh, one of our own. If you would like to get involved with the Patriot Guard, you can go to tvbikerdad.com and check out a link there. Plus, you can just go to the link at the bottom of the screen. Now here's the Biker Dad Bike of the Week. Bike of the Week. Bike of the Week. Bike of the Week. They're rolling out the 2022 Harleys at your local dealership and there's a lot that's coming new later on in the month. But right now we're gonna look at some of the bikes that are just a little bit different. We'll have some more of the radical changes later on. Steve with the Harley Davidson is here to talk to us about this bike. What are we looking at? So this is a 2022 Heritage Softail uh, Special with the 114. Um, of all the bikes that I've seen this year, this is probably my favorite, just because of how the colors kind of work together and what a throwback it is to your old firefighter edition heritage. Um, hardly going with the black mag wheels on the front and the rear. I mean, it's just a beautiful, beautiful motorcycle. So the Street Bob has the mags instead of spokes, and so, the, so does the Heritage this year. That's pretty awesome. It I seems like they've eliminated spokes all together uh, across from what we've seen so far. All right, looks good. And by the way, if you come to Mobile Bay Harley-Davidson and ask to see any of the bikes of the week, get a free Bike for Dad sticker. Ride a cool bike, it's free. Get a sticker, it's free too. Marcus loves the community, loves to be involved in the community. He found this opportunity at Fish and, and trying to end hunger here in Knoxville. But Marcus Garza would be the first person I would call, and that would be the person I would hire. The Garza Law Firm. Let us help. Biker Dads brought to you by Garza Law and the National Academy of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. I'm Marcos Garza of the Garza Law Firm. You know, the thing I like so much about serving the motorcycle community through the law is I suppose, first of all, I've always rooted for the underdog. That's just kind of how I'm made. Uh, I do some criminal defense work. I do a lot of personal injury work. And typically, you represent those folks who need help the most. You know, if you work for a big co company or a corporation, uh, you probably met a lawyer down at some country club or something like that somewhere. But I get the pleasure of representing individuals. And the thing that's awesome about the motorcycle community especially is that 
it kind of had the same camaraderie or the same feel of camaraderie that I experienced in the Marine Corps. And there are parts of me that still miss the Marine Corps. I was a Marine Corps judge advocate or JAG attorney for them for several years. And that kind of selfless service that you surround yourself with whenever you're around other people who signed up to be the tip of the spear or signed up to potentially be in harm's way kind of creates a fantastic organization. To the flag of the United States of America. And if you spend any time with the motorcycle community, it kind of feels like a group of Marines, right? Well, and, and a lot of them are, or they're other service members. And you, you have a certain amount of kind of self-selection of selflessness. Hi, this is Chris Best, the Biker Dad. Unfortunately, I've never had a serious motorcycle crash in my life, but I know if I do, Marcos Garza and the Garza Law Firm have my back. So thank you guys for thank looking you, out for Chris. bikers. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. You. This is Biker Dad. Now, this week's Biker Dad Tech Tip. Biker Dad Tech Tip. With Harley Davidson Master Tech Neil, and today we're talking about something that people consider doing themselves sometimes, and sometimes they're successful about it, sometimes not so much. And that's putting on handlebars. Like, how complicated is it? Should you be doing it yourself? And what are some of the pitfalls, so? Well, I'd say if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Um, Air cleaners and uh, pipes are usually the first things that people go for, but when it comes to handlebars, you want to make this bike your own, there are a wide variety of handlebars out there. And you see how these are wired? Sometimes uh, it can be kind of a daunting task for the beginner. Besides wiring, oh. you have your new brake lines and uh, some models of hydraulic or cable clutch, but all that needs to be routed. Your cable clutch goes down into here. Uh, all those systems need to be bled, especially the ABS system needs to be bled for safety. Uh, you said you don't want to go grab a whole handful of nothing. To get everything just perfect, and you talk to your customer beforehand, I'll get a, before I button everything down, I'll have a customer come in, plus on the lift, safe, set it, the ride and style, and I'll, I'll even walk away for a minute, like, hey, give it some thought. And, uh, sometimes just adjusting it on some of these touring bikes can be kind of, all this needs to come off, mm -hmm. needs to be pitched forward. You definitely want to make sure everything's perfect. If I make a mistake, which I have before, I have to pay you to fix it instead of, and it's just for me, because I'm not a mechanic at all, it's just better for me to come and have you guys work on my bike in the first place. That's our tech tip for this week with Harley Davidson Master Tech Neil. We'll be back next week where we're gonna be delving into your bike's computer. We're gonna see what your bike's brain has to say about what's going on in there and whether your bike is, is uh, safe and properly tuned and is running right. And, Harley has some really cool equipment. We're gonna hook it up to my bike Elvis and see uh, if there's any issues with that before we hit the road on a bunch of long trips. Hey, if you wanna know more about Daytona Bike Week, even some of the cool history, check out the March issue of Thunder Roads Magazine, Tennessee and Kentucky. Thunder Roads is a proud sponsor of the Biker Dad Show, so we appreciate their help and you can help support them too. Just pick up your copy of Thunder Roads Magazine, Tennessee, Kentucky, at any of their advertisers or biker friendly businesses in Tennessee and Kentucky. And thank you, Thunder Rose Magazine, for your support. This is Biker Day. Mike Carlano, and you watching Biker Dad TV. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Good job. got Woo! it. Yes.
This is Biker Dan. This is April Violet, but you're known as... Miss Heels on Wheels. And what is Heels on Wheels? It's just a nickname that I got when I started riding. I, um, I'm always really conscious about what I wear, no big deal. But I would go uh, to bike nights and I would take my motorcycle boots off and I'd take my stilettos out of my motorcycle bag and I'd put them on and I'd kind of go to bike night and people would watch me do that and so they started going, calling me heels and then it just kind of stuck. I am the motorcycle community advocate for the state of Tennessee for Garza Law Firm. Tennessee is beautiful, right? It has some of the best riding in this country. You've got the Smokies, you've got the Tail of the Dragon, you've got all these rides. I've enjoyed that part of it. I started working for Garza back in May. We wanted to create a community advocacy program and try to bring all different genres of motorcycles together. We focus on safety. We are very deep in the community. We do a lot of benefits and, and uh, benefit rides. We sponsor a lot of bike nights. We don't just say, hey, we, we can help you with your motorcycle needs or, or any legal needs. We really are out there. I always tell people, we're on the ground with you. We are where you are. And I'm proud of that. So we've been just trying to, to, to let people know that we're here. If you ride, you know, join us for anything we have going on. If you need anything from us, let us know. We really push safety. That is our number one. We have our Look Twice Motorcycle campaign going on. And it's, yeah, it's just doing great. Protect yourself and protect your family. That's my big spiel. Cool. April, Heels on Wheels. Z's not S's. Yes. Call her on Facebook. Yes. Thank you for everything you no, did. No, thank you, Michael Dad. I'm so glad I met you. So now we're it's been awesome meeting you. Thank you, too. And thank you to the Garza Law Firm and National Academy of Motorcycle Injury yep. Lawyers for making my crazy idea of quitting my job and doing mm -hmm. this. That's what I'm, I'm going to get to. I'm so, going to get yeah, to that. Let's help her do that, too. <laughs> Give her a follow. All right. All right thank thanks you. Thanks so much. Appreciate Enjoy it. it. Biker, 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 dad. Biker dad. That's it for this episode of the Biker Dad TV show. If you didn't know about Mardi Gras in Mobile, now you do. Now you know. So please come on down next year, party with us, ride with us, especially if you're into motorcycles. This is the Mardi Gras to come to. On the next episode of the Biker Dad Show, we are going back to the beach. Daytona Beach Bike Week is back with no COVID restrictions, no masks, no crowd limits. We're going to go check out the party everywhere from Main Street to the Beaver Bar and everything in between. That's on the next episode of the Biker Dad Show. Until then, please look twice for motorcycles. Your support is what makes Biker Dad TV possible. And the best way you can support us is just go punch the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Just search for TV Biker Dad, look for the logo and hit subscribe. Hit that little bell in the corner too so it dings whenever we post a new video. We're posting new episodes every week, but there's all kinds of extra video that goes on the Biker Dad YouTube channel as well. Again, just search TV Biker Dad.